thought I'd set myself a challenge and I decided to make viral TikTok recipes all day. So one for breakfast, one for lunch, one for dinner and some snacks along the way. I'm going to do five recipes in total and across these five recipes they've had 353 million views which is mind blowing. So I'm going to put them to the test and see if they're actually worth the hype. So hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy for anyone that's new and let's get into it. I'm going to start off with the recipe that got the smallest amount of views but just looks really nice. It also looks fairly healthy as well. So I'm excited to try it because if it's nice I'm going to be making it all the time. Um, and I say it's most amount of views, it got 11 million views, which is still a crazy amount of views. So yeah, that's what we're going to start first. I did actually start last night because part of it you do actually need to freeze. So I cut up some strawberries and added them to some protein yogurt. And then I made them into little light clusters and then froze them. So I'm going to get them out of the freezer now. Okay, so <laughs> it froze really strange. I didn't actually look at this before I started this video. I mean, they still look nice, but... Look how strange they froze it. Like, why have they got loads of lines in? I'm really confused, but they still look really nice. So, this is the unhealthy part. I'm gonna coat them in chocolate. The chocolate is all broken up. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave to melt. Okay, so the chocolate has melted. I'm now gonna drop these clusters in to cover them in chocolate. First one is covered in chocolate. I literally just dropped it in and spun it around a little bit. Just pop them back on the baking paper because obviously they'll need to set. So chocolate has set a lot faster than I anticipated because obviously it's frozen. So literally just set the chocolate straight away, which is ideal because I thought I'd have to wait, but now I don't need to wait. But it was quite tricky to do the last one because I was putting the cluster in the bowl with the chocolate and it was just setting on it. So uh, yeah, that one was a bit tricky, but I'm very impressed that this is set so fast. Okay, now for the taste test. I do have my other phone here because I want to do a video for TikToks. No, they look so nice inside. Chocolate is getting everywhere though, so I'm gonna have to eat it with a knife and fork. Let me try. Oh my god, no, that's so nice. I feel like you can really taste the strawberry. Um, so I love this. It's getting a lovely, healthy little snack. I mean, obviously the chocolate isn't that healthy, but I put protein yogurt in, which is healthy, and strawberries. So for breakfast, I'm starting strong. I'm gonna make fluffy Nutella pancakes. And this video has got 127 million views and they look incredible. So I'm hoping I can make them work. Now in the recipe, it makes three pancakes. Obviously it's only one of me. So I've half the recipe to make kind of one and a half pancakes. So that is why I'm using less ingredients, but I will leave the recipes in the description below and also the videos that I'm taking inspiration from. I did actually start a little bit of this last night because for the Nutella, it says to freeze it. So I've just frozen two blocks of Nutella. So we're cracking one egg into a bowl and whisk it. Okay, so the sugar is all. Oil. oil is now going in. Oil is also going in. Now I'm sitting in one cup of plain flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. The batter is now done. I'm going to bring you over here now because I'm going to start to cook. Okay, so it's a little bit harder than I thought the Nutella is coming out. But I mean, it still looks nice. This is the middle. I mean, it actually does look really nice. I'm very excited to try it, but not as easy as they made out on TikTok. <laughs> Hello, so we are back now to make lunch. Well, firstly, let's talk about Nutella pancakes. So they actually were nice, I ended up eating them. But yeah, they didn't look as good as they look on TikTok and they didn't look how they were supposed to look. So fair play to whoever made that TikTok, but obviously very good at making pancakes, <laughs> better than me. Um, so yeah, I feel like that was a bit of a flop, but they actually were nice. And now I'm very excited to make this lunch. So I'm making Big Mac tacos. You might have seen them on TikTok because I feel like I've seen a few people do this video. The original video that I was going to follow had 23 million views, which is still crazy. Um, however, I am actually following a slightly different video, which has 12 million views, just because in the description, they actually put the ingredients and the method. So it was just a bit easier to follow this one. This recipe, by the way, makes three tacos. So even though I'm all, there's only one of me, I'm just gonna make the whole three. Um, okay, so half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of ketchup. Does anyone ever have mayonnaise and ketchup together? I feel like a lot of people like to mix them together and have it as a sauce, but to me it just 
seems a bit wrong. <laughs> Two tablespoons of mustard. Okay, so I've added in the sugar and then it says to break some gherkins. Now I only have a tin of sliced gherkins. So what I'm gonna do is just get some gherkins and chop them quite finely. Actually it does look like Big Mac sauce. Now for the fun part, I've got three tortillas ready and then it says to press the meat into the tortilla. Okay, now to cook it, I, I'm gonna do one at a time and yeah, here goes. So I've just eaten the Big Mac taco. <gasps> no, this sauce is identical to the Big Mac sauce. Like it tastes so nice. So if anyone likes Big Mac, you need to try that sauce. Hello, so it's now the evening and we are on to our two final recipes. So the first one is a lasagna and it's actually a one pot lasagna. So I'm hoping it'll be quite easy to make. It has 27 million views and it looks amazing. One small disclaimer though, it doesn't have white sauce with it, which I am a bit like, does that make it a lasagna or does it not? However, the lady that made the video called it a lasagna, so that's what I'm gonna call it. And then to go with it is cheesy garlic bread. So a lot of cheese for dinner tonight. Um, but I'm really excited to make the garlic bread because number one, it has 165 million views. So, I mean, I love that everyone actually loves cheesy garlic bread as much as me. Um, and it just looks amazing. Like it looks so good. So part of what I'm doing here is actually roasting the garlic and some shallots. So that was part of the recipe. So I shall continue to make it now. But I think whilst this is roasting, so this has been in the oven for an hour. Um, so I actually think it's almost done. Whilst that is still cooking, I'm gonna start on the lasagna. So I've actually already cut a lot of the vegetables and stuff. So I'm just gonna go straight into cooking it. The lasagna is kind of ready now. It just needs grilling for 20 minutes. So I'm just leaving it here for now whilst I start on the garlic bread. What I've done already is roasted garlic and shallots. This is actually too hot to hold. You're supposed to like push the garlic out. So the mixture is all mixed together now. This is the cheesy garlic bread ready to go into the grill and I'm gonna put the lasagna in the grill as well for 20 minutes. This is how the lasagna is looking. So I thought I'd need 20 minutes for both of them, but I feel like my oven is just really hot because it got to like 10 minutes and they both look done. So yeah, this is the lasagna. I've just cut a little bit for a TikTok video, but this is what it looks like. And then the garlic bread. Uh, but yeah, it did burn around the edges, which I'm a little bit sad about. It was just with 10 minutes in the grill. So I do feel like if you're gonna try this, keep an eye on it. Don't just put it in for 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try them now. Guys, the garlic bread did not disappoint. If you like garlic bread, please try it. It was like no garlic bread that I'd ever tried before because it was like sweet, like because it had the honey and the shallots in. Yeah, it was just sweet. Like it, it was garlicky, but it was sweet. Like, but then it also had a kick because it had the chili in. Like it was just unreal. So please try that if you wanna try it. Also, I don't know what this is on my lip. Trying to get it off because I thought it was a bit of food or like my lip liner. It's like not disappearing. Anyway, yeah, garlic bread, unreal, definitely worth trying. The and then the lasagna was good, but it wasn't amazing. It was very handy I, and I'd actually definitely make it again for the fact that it was in one pot. Um, but I felt like it just missed the sauce. Um, so yeah, but I would actually make it again. Next time I think I'd maybe try and add a bit of a sauce to it. Also, if anyone's wondering why I made so much lasagna, it's because I'm gonna have it for my dinner tomorrow because I felt it would be a bit tricky to have that recipe. But yeah, they're all five recipes. I definitely would say the cheese garlic bread was my favorite out of all five. 
Um, and then actually probably second would be, oh, actually, I don't know what would be second, whether it would be the Big Mac Tacos or the yogurt like clusters, because they were really nice when I tried them again, when they weren't frozen. I feel like, mm, oh, I don't know what I'd pick. I'd say they were definitely the top three because the Big Mac Tacos and the Strawberry Yogurt Clusters, I feel like they were on par, like they were both just as nice as each other. Maybe actually the Big Mac would get second place by like a minuscule amount um, and then the Clusters would be third. The, no, this is actually really annoying me. I'm like, am I getting a spot on my lip because... I don't get cold sores or anything, so I'm like, what is this? Anyway, it's really distracting me, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the links to all the TikTok videos in the description, and I'll also try and leave the um, recipes in the description as well. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Please let me know if there's any other challenges you want me to do, because I quite enjoyed filming this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. And please like, comment, and subscribe.